Dress, Jessica. You too, Laura. I must have told a hundred girls how good they look in that outfit. Oh, I think she's waiting for Chip. <laughs> oh, leave it alone. Oh, come on. She's a dweeb. Why do you bother with Chip Wright? I don't. He's not like those other jerks. Does he know about this crush? Don't be dumb. What are you and your mom buying? Sweaters. You're lucky. You get to pick out all your own clothes. I wouldn't mind. What? Does your mom ever talk to you about stuff like that? Sweaters? Crushes. Oh, yeah. Like when she had them back then, during the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think about that? A wishing well. Can we get away with it without looking too dorky? Well, it's a freebie. I heard you're in the Christmas play. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of hope. You should do it. Really? Half the kids think you're stuck up, and the other half think you're weird. You think I care about what they think? I mean, look, am I caring? So, which half are you? Do you think I'm stuck up or weird? Weird. <laughs> Chores. One free wish, it says. Can you get a certificate? I guess. Who's food? Bye. Bye. Am I supposed to 
turn this into you? Turn what in, dear? This box. This wish. There's nothing there. But there was a... Oh, this. Oh, yes. This entitles you to a free wish. It certainly does. Did I drop this card? Well, I pick up litter everywhere. I suggest we all do. Well, I can only suggest. Oh, that's not mine. Oh, well, I know it, but it's still there. What's this value of this wish I'm supposed to make? I mean, like a dollar, five dollars? Oh, no, it's much less than that. See, it says one free wish. What do you want the most for the holiday season? That. What? That's what I want. These clothes? No. The dog? No, never mind. Oh, no, please, Jessica. Please, tell me. How do you know my name? Mom. To be with, shop with, all the holiday things, other kids. Never told that to anybody. Your mom moved away when you're only three years old. No, when I was three. She died. Well, that's what I meant. I mean, people are always traveling somewhere. Some trips we plan for, and some trips just take us by surprise. All right, you want a mom for the holidays, starting from tonight at midnight until midnight Christmas Eve, right? But first, put that on. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. How'd you know my name? And about my mother? Oh, honey. You are an ocean of feelings. I heard you before you spoke. I hear wishing. Hi, Jess. I got a fax? Come in now. Mail? Thanks. Good, bad, medium day? Low to medium for me. You? Yeah, same. For your information, Miss Smarty, I have already purchased one of your Christmas presents. Give me a small hint. <laughs> Ooh, several shares of an up-and-coming electronics firm that I've been watching. Dad. <laughs> so, uh, what was I supposed to guess? Nothing. The new housekeeper had to leave. She can't come every day. Right. Well, looks like it's just you and me, kid.
What do you think, Mr. Morelli? Well, I, I guess if you buy into that kind of thing, you know, it's... What do you buy into? Experience. Live and learn. School of hard knocks. Oh. You know, the glass is half empty. Oh. These boxes, they're empty too. This little smile is painted on. Two weeks from tomorrow, it will just be another Tuesday. There's an empty cup on the counter behind you, Mr. Morelli. Yeah? Ain't mine. I know. But there it is. Sounds like this storm is right on our roof. Want some milk or something? No, thanks. Company? Know any good stories? Know any clean jokes? <laughs> Tell me about the three of us. Oh, Jess, we've been all over that already. Oh, just one thing. Well, one thing. Your mother had the knack for finding things. It didn't matter what was lost. She had a sixth, sixth sense. sense, especially about you. I remember one day, we hadn't heard you playing or laughing or singing for a long time. She suddenly just sat up, and I said, what? She said, Jessica's, Jessica's under, under the, the bed. bed. And so we got up and went into your room, and there you were, fast asleep, under your bed. Now, other parents might have gotten into a panic and gone around looking for you, but she, she knew. knew. Can you believe this storm? Hey, what is that? Oh, that's my free wish. Who could that be? It's midnight. Midnight. Midnight! Dad! Dad! Just a minute. Sorry I'm so late, but the storm. I'm here about the ad. Ad? Yeah, uh, room and board in exchange for afternoon and evening child care. This must be the child. Hi. Nice pajamas. I've seen those on sale. Uh, I'm Jim, and this is Jessica. I thought about placing an ad, but I never. Did you, Jess? Oh, nice house. No music. Oh, maybe you did put the ad in and forgot. I'll take that coat. Oh, I've never been rained on before. I was once stuck on a loading dock in three days in the snow. May I sit? Oh, of course. Oh, look at that. 
When you sit down, everything wrinkles. I'm not sure I like that. Jessica, don't stare, honey. Uh, so your, your car broke down, Miss... Amy. Amy, uh, Miller. No, um, I walked here from the store. I mean, the bus. I, uh, I have the name of a motel here in case the position is filled. I did all that. Mm. Uh, so you have no friends or family here in town? No, I'm just starting out. Job hunting, that is, as of tomorrow. For something part-time. I just need a place to stay. I could work an early shift and still be here for Jessica and uh, maybe do some cooking. As long as you have an empty bed. Well, Dad, there is some room over the garage. I hate to cause trouble, but it's very late and I... No, 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 no trouble. Uh, well, we haven't used the place in... I just need a warm, dry place before I dissolve. Well, why not? I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so grateful. He's nice. Isn't he nice? I said I came here from the store. Amy, how do you feel? Excited? <sighs> Me too. It'll just be our secret, won't it? Yes, and Phil's. Oh, Philomena, yeah! <laughs> and my friends at the store. Your friends? You mean there are so, others? Uh... What, uh, what kind of a job will you be looking for? Oh, selling clothes at Milliman's department store. I hear they need holiday help. Oh, is this my hair? How do you keep it in place without tape? <laughs> uh, selling clothes. Uh, really, I, I, I would have thought that you would have been more, you know, I don't know. Oh, well, uh, I have done some modeling. See, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, a lot of people think that there's, you know, not very much to modeling other than, you know, being beautiful and being able to pose well, but uh, well, I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that. Hmm? Like what? Uh, why, why don't we go take a look at that room? Oops, sorry. I'm always just pinned together. Hey, the rain stopped. It's gonna clear up. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. Dad, Amy made breakfast. Well, she has. Well, uh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> I didn't know it. I'd enjoy sleep so much. I mean, you just lie there. Chicken noodle. Um, is there any uh, coffee? Coffee? No. But I could cook some. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just do uh... But Jess, you look different. You look great. Thanks. Amy, help me get ready. Ta-da! I swear, Jess is more grown up every time I look at her. Oh? How often do you look at her? Well, you know, I... How's your breakfast? Hmm. What? I see it all the time. Fathers are always coming into the store exchanging clothes they bought for their daughters. She's bigger than I thought, they say. She's older than I realized. I wonder if they're really looking. 
The mothers are, though. The women, they're always measuring and watching. Men are too busy, I guess. Hello. Yes? You better be going. Yes, I'll, I'll hold. You two have fun. We'll clean up later. Okay. Right. <gasps> oh, look at me. No doubt. Skin is so hard to deal with, you know. It just budges and wrinkles and makes you want to iron it. Come on, yes. Bye. Bye, Dan. So, you've got a missing dummy. Mannequin, Mr. Morelli. And an expensive outfit, right down to the shoes. Other things unaccounted for are a suitcase, underclothes, several missing books. But it's the mannequin itself that bothers me. Uh, don't worry, Milliman. I'm on vacation from the force, so right now they've got my full attention. Who? The shoplifters, the purse snatchers, all the punks who come out of the woodwork on Christmas. We'll take care of it. So, the hood's still a dummy, huh? Is that why you moonlight these security jobs, Sarge? The rise in crime? Right, kid. That and the alimony. Oh, isn't it great to be outside? Yeah. Isn't that makeup OK? Yeah. Oh, you know, that scarf really is just too much with that outfit. What? I beg your pardon. I was just trying to help. No. Philomena says we should always do what we can. Met. The window people kind of stick together, though. At least inside, we get to move around a little. You do? Yeah, two hours at a time when we're alone. Hi, Bill. Is he one of your friends? Well, I know him. He's a bit stuck up. Hi, Betty. Looks better on me, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> she's scatterbrained, but she's got a good heart. Now, Wilkins. Wilkins is a joy, but all he talks about is cars, cars, cars. This is Wilkins. Hi. Not a spark there. Oh, gives me the chills. Come on, let's go. What about the Indian Square? Yeah, they're fine. The girls are taking care of them. Hey, girls. This is Jessica. Oh, relax. This is definitely the best store in town. What? I'm sure there are a lot of cute guys out there, but they all come in here eventually. Oh, how old are you, Jess? I'm... Eleven. I'm gonna go to personnel now. You be okay? Yeah.
Amy Miller. Hi, Linda. Hey, Skirt. I just want to say that I'm sorry for borrowing your friend Amy, but the girls will take good care of you. Oh, my name's Jessica. Hi, little doggy. <laughs> Hi, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to mannequins, huh, Jessica? <laughs> mm. Baby, maybe we can go out sometime. You can just walk off the earth. You can just... <laughs> Thank you. One moment. You um, didn't fill in your age. Oh, I'm eight. I mean, twenty eight? I meant eight years' experience. Oh, yes. And mostly in lingerie. And how did you find that experience? Chilly. Well, I'm sorry that you can only join us during the holidays. Oh, me too. But my time is limited. Hey, Doc. What's her name? Amy Miller, honey. You ever worked in a shoe department by any chance? For 12 years. If you had to judge the size of those pretty little... Oh, eight uh, or nine. Thanks, Bill. What's it all about? If the shoe fits. from his meeting, and tomorrow we'll... Oh. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Steph. Bad news. My mom has a virus or something, so she won't be able to take us tree shopping. Oh, no. We don't have another way to get there. I'm sorry. I'm kind of taking care of her. Fixing dinner. Yeah. I hope she's better. <sighs> Steph's mom can't make it. We can charge the Christmas tree, but I don't have enough money for the cabs, so maybe you could just... I'm sorry, Jess. I only have 89 cents. 89 cents? My first paycheck's gone already. You know, I'm secretly paying back Millimans for my clothes and makeup. <sighs> it isn't supposed to be this way. Got an idea. of us. But what do you mean? Replacements. What happens to the... Come on. Wilkins. Wilkins. Evening. <laughs> Wilkins, we need you to drive us somewhere. Loading bay is open, and don't worry, we'll get you back on time. They put a lot of displays in the way since they parked me here. Oh, you can do it. Oh, this is Jessica. Hello there. Purrs like a cat. Drives like a dream. <sighs> Sorry. Wilkins! No! Sorry. Nose 
what he's doing! <laughs> Kissy! Whoa! <laughs> Not the makeup! Sorry. Not my station! Sorry. Some car. 1961 Jaguar. Drives like a dream. Can you charge a gas to Mr. Slocum? My dad. Not without his card. Original wire spoke wheels. Look, just five dollars. Sorry. Excuse me. This is kind of an emergency and we don't have any cash, but I do have a bracelet here worth well over five dollars. And I got this bracelet you could have as well. Here, for packing things. No, thank you. <laughs> Twin overhead camshafts. Wilkins. All right. It's my treat. Thank you. Original gas tank. 24 miles to the gallon. Purrs like a cat, drives like a dream. Wilkins, will you please watch where you're going? Oh, sorry. How much further is it to the Christmas tree lot? Because Wilkins doesn't have a lot of time. Not far. We'll get a small tree. Dad says there's less fuss. Why not fuss? It's Christmas. Original valve radio. Wilkins? Oh, I think I broke a nail. Thank you, Wilkins. Quite welcome. Cheery, huh? Can you make it back all right? Dreams like a cat, purrs like a drive. Uh oh. His fingers fell hard. Hurry, Wilkins. Get it inside. Okay. Got it? Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Got it? Go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah. Here we go. Watch behind you. Okay. Two. Yeah, I have you. Okay. Yeah. All right, lift it up. Okay. Real mad. Oh, she's very pretty, like you. Her name was Vicky. I wish I could remember her. Jess, where are all the photos of you? Well, that's me. I'm in those. Yes, but they're all when you were a baby, there's, there's none of you since you grew up. What do we tell Dad about this picture? 
The truth. Always the truth. Now, the decorations. Look at this. Where'd you get this? Millimans. I get all my books at Millimans. <laughs> you get everything out of a book? <sighs> Isn't this a beautiful tree? We don't have a lot of this stuff. Then we'll improvise. To a Christmas we'll never forget. Oh, fax coming in. No way! Leave it! My turn! Well, you're lucky. It was only the one room. Only the one room? There was a lifetime in this room. There was... Are you sure you don't want me to call the store and stay home and help? No. I'll help him. I don't have to go to school today anyway. It's just last day, so I'll just... No. I want to be alone with this. Dad, I thought I could stay home and help you out with it. No, go to school. How about I make breakfast? I'm not hungry. Well, I guess if you've gone to school, let me fix your hair. My hair is fine. We can pull it back, you know, into that nice braid that you like. My hair is fine. Well, then, uh, let's practice your poem for the play. We can go in there. Why? So that you'll be ready. Why do you want to help me and do things for me? Because it's in your books? No, Jess. Because I care. You care how I look? You care how you look? What do you do now since your books are all burned?
you sure you don't want some gazpacho? No! Oh, okay. I think you realize what's been lost. I never hear you talk about your past. Past? <laughs> past is gone, isn't it? Future is unpredictable. All we really have is this minute. Oops, it's gone. Now all we have is this minute. I really need to make the most of them. And your family? Truth is, um, I don't have any family, not one living soul. Except now, I have Jessica. I like to do what I can for her. She really needs somebody. She has somebody, she has her father. Then why did her father stop taking pictures of her eight years ago? Eight years ago? Her mother died eight years ago. I know that. Is that when you stop listening to your daughter and looking at her? You have no right to say that to me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very fuzzy on what my rights are. I had very little orientation. Waited for you at school. I left early. Sorry, Dad. Mrs. Garcia tells me you come here a lot. Why, Jess? Just uh, I don't know. Come on, honey, you can tell me. I come here and I watch the people shopping. Watch the girls with their families. With their mothers. Jess. I'm okay, Dad. I know you are. But I've been away for a long, long time. I've got a surprise for you, Jess. Go on in. I hope this cheers her up. Huh? No, it just got a little cold in here last night, so... Amy said you wanted to ask me over, but you were too shy. Tell him I'm sick. Tell him I ran away to South America. Why did you call him? Because of the way you feel about him, Jess. I thought you'd be thrilled. How do you know? Where? In your diary. Where is she going? Argentina, I think. I think I better go. Uh, things aren't always this weird here. Oh, they are at my house.
Yes? Go away! Doesn't anything keep you out? This is my room. This is my diary. Not even my dad would think of reading it. Go away! Jess, I read your diary to find a way to make things up to you. I didn't know what else to do. Don't you understand anything? You embarrass me. I can never talk to Chip again. You spoiled everything. You made me feel like a geek. Like everyone thinks I am. No, Jess. Don't you get it? When you feel that way about someone, those feelings are private. Feel what way? You really don't understand. You don't. How could you be anybody's mom? You're not even human. I should have wished for a sweater and you should have stayed in your store.
I'm afraid the Santa statue we had on order got lost in the Christmas rush, but the show must go on, okay? So, instead of doing your poems and skits around the statue, we'll uh, dress one of you as Santa. Ted O'Neill, come up here, please. Now's your chance. See you on stage, Slocum. <laughs> He's gonna sabotage me up there. Do you wanna back out? No. Well, I don't think it's fair. I don't think he's going to make a very good Santa. And I think that if you want a real Santa statue, you should have one. What else are you thinking? Something dangerous and possibly impossible. I'm going to love this. May I have your attention, shoppers? We will be closing our doors in five minutes. Happy holidays and thank you for shopping at Bellevue. <laughs> I ever spent. At least it's good to have some company here. <laughs> I bet it is. Um, it's nice to be here with you. Oh, it's nice to be here with you. Nick, when the store is closed, the three of us are going to sneak out of here. Okay with you? Oh, jailbreak, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> on four, down escalator. the auditorium. They're sure to bring you in in the morning. Oh, good. <gasps> Look at that! 
no, this is not like it. Oh. Oh, 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 this is very Christmassy here. <laughs> <laughs> He oh, likes being outside. It's very Christmassy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy being in the play. Oh, yes. What part do I play? The part of Santa Claus. Santa Claus? I say. <laughs> That's fine, isn't it? But you have to wear a new beard. A beard? Oh, <laughs> a beard! <laughs> Excellent. Oh, very Christmassy. <laughs> very Christmassy. Oh, Jesse, look. Oh, look at the carolers. Oh. And they have elves, too. <laughs> Peace on Earth. That's my wish. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Look! Oh. oh! They have a real sleigh! <laughs> Just... Nick! Oh, my lord. Oh, Nick! It's a statue. I could have sworn. Thank God. Jess, I'll be back, okay? Amy! No, Amy! Nick! Come on now, Nick. I'm sorry about your statue, but you had it right in the street. Nick, you've got to be okay. Nick, please, Nick, please, no, Nick. <sighs> Looks pretty bad. Well, what are we going to do?
Come along. Oh, come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> this way. Yeah. Goodbye. Did I miss Christmas? No. <laughs> I found it like this. What's your step? Get back to the wood pile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. she feels. I don't want the night to end either. Me too. It's so wonderful. What is? Life. It's scary. Messy. Absolutely unbeatable. So the simplest thing in the world. Not for me. But I haven't felt this way since... for many years. Me either. Not in a lifetime. I want you to go. Go think? Yes. Would you, uh... What you think about this?
Yes. And about this. Questions I need to ask. Sure. I remember you you were talking about Chip Wright. And you said when you feel that way about someone. It's private. Yes. Feel that way. Does feeling that way about someone mean that? When you're near them, your chest hurts and your brain falls out and you don't know what to say. Yes. It's my dad, isn't it? Oh, Jesse, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You have your whole life to explore those feelings. I have two days. Oh no, Amy, I... Well, even if it's only for two days, <laughs> it's worth it. Thanks for the talk. Sure. Kalamina, there has to be something we can do. Don't you understand? Penny, you did get your wish. Please. Those are the rules. A, a mom for the holidays. I wasn't chopped liver. I know. And I'm grateful. But it can't stop now. This is too real. This is what I've always wanted. Not for Christmas, but for always. For all the things. It's the talks we have and it's holding our hand when we walk sometimes. I never got to do that, Phil. <laughs> My first mom left so long ago and now I'm me too. Oh, honey. <laughs> it's times like these that are supposed to be the happiest. It can be the hardest of all. She wants to stay. And my dad wants her to stay. I know it. Okay. I'll try to hold on to her. But there isn't much hope. But there's a chance. When the time comes, we will hold on to her with our hands and our hearts, and we might be able to keep her with us. I'll come to her at half an hour before midnight. Remember that. 11.30. And we will hold on to her. It's the best we can do. Again. 
Honey, I try to save as many as I can. I can't save them all. Hey, Kit. What's your name? Jess. Jessica Slocum. Dan Morello. Come with me, Kit. Excuse me. Are you Amy Miller? Yes. Is this bracelet yours? No, Amy. Yes. No, no. She didn't steal anything. I stole everything, not her. Jess, always the truth, remember? All right, you two come with me. Call my partner at the station. Tell him to get down here. Come on. Yeah. All the fun and games are over now. The cards are on the table, kid. You admitted the theft. I just said that so you wouldn't take Amy. We didn't steal anything, and you have to let her go. By 11.30 tonight, she has to be home. Why? She has to be home so... Now, the truth, kid. So we can keep her from turning back into a statue. Then she'll be replaced by the ones with no face. She'll be recycled. Don't mess with me, kid. So, the kid crack? Two sweaters stole. Skirt, blouse, underwear, boots, a suitcase, Dan. costume jewelry. Dan. I've heard a lot of talk at the store about extra money turning up in certain cash registers. Haven't these missing items been paid for? Well, is this true, Dan? We can't be sure what the extra money is for. And there's still the missing mannequin. Now, why don't we have any record on this broad? Broad? Who were you before you turned up at Millerman's at the beginning of the holidays, huh? And don't play dummy with me. I was nobody at all. Do you think this is a joke? You drove the store's Jaguar out, didn't you? No, the chauffeur did. You can ask him. Did you ask him, Dan? The chauffeur is a mannequin. Yeah, but did you ask him? Are you having fun? You and the little girl drove the car out, didn't you? Yes. You admit it. Yes, but the chauffeur drove. His name is Wilkins. He can come alive for two hours at a time. He's a mannequin. I'm a mannequin, too. You're a comedian, huh? No, a mannequin. Dan, we have to let him go. Why? Well, I've been in touch with the legal department, and we don't have enough to make it stick. Anyway, it's Christmas Eve. I'll be watching you. Merry Christmas. We'll see about that. It's beautiful, Dad. And so are you. It's beautiful. And now, your turn. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh. I think I know what to put in this. Thank you. And? Ah! Speech, speech. For everything that you've brought into our home. Excitement, laughter, firemen. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Three tickets. I want us to celebrate the new year in Hawaii. I have five days off and please say you'll come. You can bunk with Jessica. like this one. Don't just let it go. I'm all out of minutes. Okay, okay, listen, listen. We don't have to go anywhere. I just want to be with you on New Year's Day when the sun comes up, because for me, it is more than a new year. It's a whole... I'm sorry. What? I'm so sorry. Just hold me, Jess. Where's Phil? She'll be here. But isn't there some way?
banget ini. Why is she going into Milliman? She's going back. Back where? Just help me hold on to her dad, please. She'll be gone forever. I will. I will. Mr. Morelli. It's just a mannequin. This is Amy, Dad. It's Amy. Please help me. Please hold on to her. Oh, Jess. Honey. What's... Just look at her, Dad. Look at her. Please hurry. The time is almost over. Please. Please. Honey, it's just...
Can we go home now? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Morelli. Let me take you home. Have a nice life. Come back and see us from time to time. Bye-bye.